must be in Jesus. For God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge the world. Hey, man. Go over there, boy. Go over there. I'm a boy. Go over there. Go over there. Rebuke you, you wicked spirit. Get out of here. Get out of here. And then people hate the preaching of the gospel because it confronts them in their sin. God has appointed a day, sir, when you're going to stand before him. And all that anger in your heart, God can heal the anger, but you got to be willing to come to him. Let go of the drinking, let go of the drugging, and come to the Lord Jesus. But you must be willing to humble yourself, sir, because there's going to be a day where you're going to breathe your last breath and you will stand before the judgment of God and you will give an account for your life, my friend. And today we are pleading with you today, New Orleans, Louisiana, to repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. For God has appointed a day where you will give an account for your life, my friends. And it's heaven or hell. That's the destiny for all of us. We have a choice today to choose who we will serve. We can continue to choose to live for ourselves and serve the pleasures of sin, and we can go to hell or we can turn to the Lord and find salvation for our soul. But we must be willing to repent. We must be willing to turn. If not, my friend, you're going to be judged as a sinner and you're going to be cast into hell. For God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge each and every soul in righteousness through his son, Jesus Christ. And today, you can lay hold of the mercy seat of God. You can come to the Lord today and find forgiveness for your sins. But you must be willing to repent. For God is extending an invitation of salvation to all people today. But you must be willing to repent, my friends. If not, you're going to die and you're going to go to hell. This is what awaits all those who die without the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God has extended his love through his son, Jesus Christ. You want to look at the love of God, you look at the cross of Jesus Christ. For God has demonstrated his love towards us that while we was yet sinners, Christ came and died for us. The good died for the bad. The righteous died for the unrighteous. God sent his son to shed his blood for us that we might find forgiveness for our sins. But we must be willing to repent. If not, my friend, you're going to die in your sins and you're going to go to hell. And God doesn't want you to go to hell, so he sends preachers out here into the streets to plead with your soul to come to the mercy seat of God. Because time is running out, my friends. For it is appointed once for man to die, and then after that, the judgment. Sir, it's appointed once for you to die. You're going to die one day. And you're going to be judged for your sin. Think about your soul. Don't continue going through life being blinded by the pleasures of sin. Come to the Lord while there's still time, because time is running out. You're not promised tomorrow, sir. You die without the salvation of God, you're going to go to hell. And we are pleading with you today, New Orleans, Louisiana, to repent because God has appointed a day of judgment where you are going to stand before the judgment seat of God and you will give an account for your sins. God sees all the sin. He sees the drunkenness. He sees the weed smoking. He sees the homosexuality. He sees the fornication. He sees it all, my friend, and there is a day of accountability. And today is the day of mercy. Today is the day that we can come to the Lord Jesus Christ. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven 
against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. And this is what we do. We live life chasing the pleasures of sin. We do what we want to do and we think we're going to be okay when we die. But my friend, I'm telling you today that the wrath of God abides upon you outside of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. When you die here without the salvation of your soul, you are going to go to hell. And today, I am warning you today, don't go to hell. You can come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You can put down the liquor and you don't have to be bound by alcohol anymore. You don't have to be bound by drugs anymore. You can come to the Lord Jesus and he can set you free. For who the Son of Man sets free, they are free indeed. There is freedom in Jesus Christ. You can come to the Lord and He can heal the brokenness of your heart. He can heal the pain. You ain't got to go through life trying to medicate yourself with drinking. You ain't got to go through life trying to medicate yourself with sex. You ain't got to go through life trying to medicate your life with drugs. You can come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But you must be willing to repent. If not, you're going to die a sinner and you're going to go to hell. And today we are pleading with you today, don't go to hell. While there's still breath in your body, you can come and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation that God is offering through his son Jesus. But you must be willing to repent. You must be willing to come to the Lord and humble yourself, sir. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that you may receive the salvation of the Lord. If not, my friend, you're going to die in your sin and you are going to go to hell. And this is the judgment for all those who reject the salvation of God. If you want to reject the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are going to face God's rejection for all of eternity. And today, my friends, you can come to the Lord. For God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to die for our sins. He shed His blood. He laid down His life on the cross. He died and on the third day He was resurrected so that you can find salvation for your soul. But you must be willing to repent. For Jesus said so likewise, if you do not repent, you are going to perish. That means you are going to bust hell wide open. That means when you die here, apart from the saving grace of Jesus Christ, you're going to open your eyes in a place that is designed for suffering. Hell is designed for punishment, my friends. Hell is a place where people go who die without the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today we are pleading with you today to come to the Lord while there is still time. Come to the Lord Jesus while there is still breath in your body. For God is extending an invitation of salvation to all people. But you must be willing to repent. You must be willing to turn to the Lord. You must be willing to be convicted of your sins. Are you not tired of going through the same things over and over again? Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and turn to the mercy seat of God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent and save yourself from this wicked and perverse generation and come to the Lord Jesus Christ while there is still time because time is running out my friends time is against all of you and i know you think you're going to live forever we get this thing in our mind that we're just going to live forever and life is just a big old party and i'm gonna keep eating and drinking and having fun but my friend i'm here to tell you today that your days of having fun is going to come to an end one day you are going to breathe your last breath and you will stand before the judgment seat of god and you will give an account for your life and my friends there will be no tough guys on the day of judgment the power and the majesty of Almighty God is going to humble the toughest man. 
And today, while it is still today, you can come to the Lord. You can repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. 